Okay, uh, I want to just talk to you a little bit about forearms. Okay, uh, you know, back in the day, uh, a lot of people used forearms. Uh, one of my favorites was what we used to call the bomb. And the bomb was basically a long arm trying to strike it right up the center of the guy. Bam. Okay. Uh, the problem with the bomb was it was a long movement. And as we progress to more of the oiled, condensed stuff, we realized that this was just a form of flailing. Now, it was pretty violent. I mean, it would lift you right off the ground. But the other thing it did is it stood you up. Okay, you just uncondensed. It was just, it was powerful. Okay, but you know, you just you just wound up with this this kind of stuff. Now, another thing, the Crowder sled. You know the the uh, cage flipper thing, uh, you know, and uh, from what I understand or remember, it was a thumb roll. Okay, back in the day, Mike Jacobs taught us this thumb roll. I used that uh, for a while. In other words, double thumbs. And the thumb roll, thumb roll means exactly that. Okay, but the problem with this, you know, the Crowder sled thing, is you get grabbed. Okay, you got the guy here. You're hitting him here, and he's grabbing you. You can't get off. Okay. Plus, it doesn't really. It, it did for a while. We 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 talked about this shoulder point, and we kept the open leg here. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. We kept the open leg so that we could gallop off. But eventually, uh, we just you know, we went to this. Okay. And you'll see it in my drill tape. As a matter of fact, the earlier drill tape. This is what we, what I've been calling the thumb roll recently. And what it is, again, okay, I've got an open leg here and I'm trying to escape that way. That's my gap. That's my seaside. That's where I'm going. And I'm using this as part of the shield. Okay, when we chipped, this was murder. Okay, we chip with the shoulder and then do that and escape. And you can see that on my, on my real videos with guys okay but part of the shoulder roll when you when you take that zigzag pattern okay so in other words a gator stepping back into the guy that's mostly i told them one hand but most of the kids did this okay very compact okay good a good short lever okay and it kept the man from reaching across and grabbing you so you have him like this, okay? He he's not gonna he's not gonna grab you. He can't. It's too far. It's too it's too long of a reach for him. Okay, so that's that's part of the, the shoulder roll, okay? Um, for at least for the chip. Okay, now the dig is something different, and we'll talk about the dig. What we wanted to do is keep on chip, keep an open arm to the open leg so that we could pick up anything running through our gap. And we're basically just using the shoulder roll as a shield and setting up, giving access to the next guy. We don't want to get grabbed. And that was the way the kids wound up doing it. And I said, why not? We're doing it. We're already doing it on normal gallops. We're basically galloping here on the shoulder roll. So why not? Okay. It's tight. It's compact. It's coiled. Okay. That's all I got for you. I, I posted a bunch of stuff about the uh, uh, drill drill videos, uh, individual drill videos. Some are good, some are bad. You watch it, okay, and go from there.